here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of our epic modded series, Stoneblock. As you can see behind my character, we have a nether star. I made something pretty nifty, and I'll show you the other side of that base in a little bit, but we did get a nether star. So all I did was feed drawers of patient bags through these bag openers, and they're just going in a cycle, and slowly but surely, we got our first nether star. <gasps> I'm so excited finally so now we're gonna wait of course so we can get more because it's 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 really low chance like one in ten thousand can't believe we actually got one already but you know you know there's our nether star <laughs> I'm so excited but this episode is gonna be dedicated to chickens because it is the number one requested mod that I do in in this series almost on every single episode so we're we're gonna deal with chickens but I upgraded the base I made it look pretty I think it looks pretty good. Got rid of almost all the torches in this main room. I think all the torches are gone, minus this little spot right here, but we, we can upgrade that. Everything's lit by glowstone now because it's just a lot cleaner looking. It looks so much better, and we got a little bit of design. This was just made with a chisel, so pretty easy thing to make. Really easy to use. I simply just right-click on blocks, and right now, if you don't right-click on any blocks, you can pick how big of an area it changes. You can also just throw blocks in here and change it into whatever block you want but um it was pretty easy to do it this way it was only like the eighth block in so i just had to click a bunch of times but we made a pretty epic base um pretty excited about that but it is the day for chickens chickens are important so we made this little chicken catcher pretty easy a stick a feather and one other item i don't remember what it was all right, a chicken catcher. All right, an egg, a stick, and a feather. Super easy, but what it does is whenever you find a chicken in the wild and you right-click the chicken, it turns it into an item. So I went into the nether very quickly and picked up our soul sand chickens that we had seen, and I managed to find two nether quartz chickens. So I think, you know, with that, it's, it's time to start. Now, I made this really cool block. It's called an elevator block. It's just any wool color surrounded by a neat pearl. So super easy to make. You had to make two of them because if you click, you can go to different levels. So I made a second level under our base just for chickens. And of course, I planted some seeds so that we could get see more seeds and wheat because we're going to need hay bales for this. Now, there's a lot to do, and I looked at a ton of different tutorials on how to do this because I've never dealt with chickens, but they seem really interesting, worth it in the long run, but very tedious. So we will be cutting quite a bit for this, but I figured I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you along the ride for a bit. So... Some things we need to do right away is I want to put our little acceleration one to good use and see how it works. Now we're going to go grab our battery. I did upgrade this machine just once. Um, I think it's called upgrade and where is it? Oh, there's so many upgrades in this game. So many. This one right here, the hardened upgrade kit. Um, it was pretty easy to do. Invar bronze, which is just a mixture of two of our ores we already have and redstone and unfortunately we couldn't upgrade anymore because we don't have the next level which was the reinforced uh we don't have hardened glass so we just upgraded it once and then threw an augmentation in that allows more power to be transferred and of course we used our wand on it a little bit but i really found it didn't really make a difference it's almost maxed out so i'm just gonna grab it and, and shift right click and this should keep our wand fully powered the entire time we do this now, this is step one. We need a lot of this stuff. Now, apparently, you can just click. Oh, my God. Oopsie. Um, oh, my goodness. This is so OP. I think I should probably use something else to grab these. Not a torch. That would probably be best. And we need our seeds because I do want to plant the rest of this. And we accidentally broke some. Hopefully, we have enough seeds, please. Almost. One seed short. But this. Oh, my God. This is so fast. Okay, so our whole thing is planted. I think if you just right-click on the crop... Oh, yeah, there we go. If you right-click on the crop, it auto-harvests and replants for you, which is really kind of nice. But I think that might be enough for now. 61 wheat and 23 seeds should be good, but we're going to build everything down here for our chickens. So what do we need first? A crafting table. That would be super helpful. And maybe at this end of the room so we don't have to run around all the time. So we'll just put it right there. Perfect. So now I also want to use, uh, get our floral fertilizer quest complete because we can get a lot of different colored dyes from the Batania set and that will help us make all the different types of freaking chickens. There's so many chickens. Uh, so if we do at roost, oops, roost, 
look how many chickens there are. And most of the chickens start with the dies. So a, a ink black chicken, which is just black dye, red chicken, red dye, but there's different ways of getting dye. And I feel like the Batania way might be our best bet and the easiest way. Cause we get a lot of flowers with Batania. So we're going to work on that as well. And I think that'll be well worth it, but I want to get our different little containers that we need. So we need a roost. We need a chicken breeder and we need a roost collector. So we're gonna need a lot of roost if we want one chicken per roost, but we'll at least start with the chicken breeder. Ooh, that's a lot of, oh, so we have six. Actually, I think we can actually afford to make some. So this is gonna be really good. We don't have a lot of the resources needed to make these, but we'll expand over time because this is gonna be a long mod. I, I can feel it. Oh, we only needed one chicken breeder. I think I just wasted our, uh, our hay bales. Oh, that's sad. And we need a nest. I think it's called an egg nest. Which one is it? Yeah, the egg nest, which is three of these. So we need a lot more wheat is what that tells me. A lot more wheat, but I think we'll just put our chicken breeders here for now and get some more wheat. All right, let's do these. How do we get exactly a stack? That's so weird. Okay, so we have a bunch of hay bales, which is really good. We need, um, I would say two nests. We gotta place those down and we're gonna need redstone lamps because that's how you can heat the nest a little bit faster than usual. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna do that. that that'll work for me. Now we have a ton of soul sand chickens and nether quartz chickens. These, both these chickens, you cannot make these. I ain't making this up. You actually cannot make these from breeding different types together. You have to find them in the nether. So that's why I went and grabbed them right away. So we'll never have to worry about that again, which is really good. So at roost and we'll check out we need a roost collector not yet because we don't have any roost that we want to make yet so we need three more hay bales two more hay bales not bad all right we should have enough hay bales now that was kind of crazy i should have gotten a lot of hay bales before we started but i do want one roost is what i want so that we have a place to put these guys in so they're probably going to end up on the walls and we'll figure out a system to collect them later. But that's what a roost looks like. And we're just going to put one in here. Now, these little guys don't ha like they don't, they have really bad stats. So, for instance, if we throw a chicken in here, soul sand chicken, soul sand chicken and a bunch of seeds. And I think it only uses one seed at a time. It's super slow, but we need to get better stats on these chickens. Because if you stare at it at the top, you can see soul sand chicken one, one, one. They're not very strong. They can go all the way up to 10, 10, 10. So this is what I'm going to be spending a lot of my time on over the next little while and just using the wand on the little chicken breeder and speeding up this process. I like that all the little red curtains come down while they're breeding, which is super cute, but we're almost there and we can see what happens when these two one, one, one chickens breed. It's almost there. There we go. So we take a look. We now have a two, three, three. So growth two, gain three, strength three. So obviously I'm going to pull one of these little guys out and throw this guy in because this guy will help the basic one, one, one get a lot higher in stats until we hit 10, 10, 10. And that's going to be basically the story of our lives for the next, I don't know how many hours, but we are going to spend some time doing this today. Um, probably overnight. Oh, there's no seeds in this one. Let's grab some seeds from over here. I'm sticking in here. There we go. And we can get the nether quartz one done. So my plan is to get all the different dyed chickens done overnight so that I can start making a lot of different types of chickens. I saw, um, what chicken was it? There's a redstone chicken and I, I would love that. Redstone alloy, redstone crystal, blood. Oh, there's so many. Rubber, restonia, refined iron. Quartz enriched iron, we definitely want that. Nether quartz chicken and an iron chicken. How do you get an iron chicken? You need flint and bone white chicken. Flint chicken's actually really easy to make, and that's why I brought a bit of resources with us, because we can actually make a few of these chickens. Because we can make them ourselves from scratch. So the flint chicken is just flint around an egg. You get two flint chickens, which is beautiful. And then we're gonna throw them into these little egg nests, if we can. Oh, I don't think these guys do. I think it's only the colored ones that go in there. I think we can plant them. Hold on. I got this. I got this. We need our chicken catcher. So we're going to place our two flint guys. That one got a hat. And we're going to turn them into items. This is exactly what I did in the nether. I ran around and just collected these little guys in the nether. But we can do the same thing that is happening here. 
with the flint chickens and get 10 10 tens. And then once we have 10 10 tens, they're worthy of putting in the roost so that we can get um, drops from them, which is really cool. And it's probably best we get a few 10 10 tens, like two of them, so that we can get a full stack of 10 10 tens, which a stack of these chickens is 16. So it's a little bit of work. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's a little bit of work. But once we get through this, I think it'll be well worth it. And we'll see what kind of drops we get. We can also make the sand chicken and the log chicken, which is basically a wood chicken. These ones we can make from scratch, which is pretty cool. And I believe right now, because we have bone meal, we can make the bone white chicken egg, which is definitely going to be helpful very shortly. But I do also in this episode want to work on this floral fertilizer because we have two pieces of it and we might as well get a little bit more and we're really close and this is going to help me overnight get all the different dyes that are needed for all the different types of colored chickens we have the blue one we have red we have yellow cyan there's a lot so we're just going to make a few more floral fertilizer we have four pieces we need red dye so it's not too hard of a thing to do just you bone meal the grass around your feet. There we go. And you can actually vein mine the grass, which is kind of weird, but it works. There we go. And we should have enough flowers now. Here's the little red poppies. Turn that into red dye. Go like this with the yellow and whatever bone meal we have left over. And we've got five floral fertilizer. That should be a quest complete, which is awesome. This page is starting to fill out really nicely. Look at that. I think, uh, oh, we did have space in our inventory. I got really scared there for a second. Um, but we actually are getting a pretty decent way into the first page. Extreme crafting's up next on this side. Um, that's scary looking. Uh, the end, we could do that. We're pretty close to being able to accomplish that, which is pretty cool. We could, uh, uh, we could go do this like tomorrow or tonight and just grab these few items out of our mob farm. But I would like to upgrade our mob farm. And I believe we actually have enough resources to completely upgrade these uh, cobblestone generators and go to the aroma mining dimension. So I have a few ideas of episodes coming up, but we got our floral fertilizer. And if you use this on grass, it's like bone meal, but it gives you Batania flowers. And these flowers are beautiful. And there's so many different colors. Our inventory's full though. That's okay. We don't need a lot of stuff in our inventory right now. So if we pick up these flowers, they're so pretty, but we could easily just grab it and turn it into mythical pink petals for that one. That one's pink. So we get pink petals. We got an orange flower. We get orange petals, which is beautiful. And if you need extra dyes, the quickest way, in my opinion, if you want specific ones, you can plant a petal and then you just bone meal it. So it's pretty easy. And I think you just shear it to get like the full drop off it. Um, that one just, you know, died. But <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, which is pretty good. So that's my goal tonight is just to work on all the different colored eggs. See what we get when we come back. This guy is just so slow. Oh, we got one. A three, three, three. We'll get rid of a one. Uh, I have nowhere to put it. And put our three, three, three in. So uh, slowly but surely, these things will um, become 10, 10, 10. All right, guys. So we're at a crucial point. I've been slowly making chickens we actually have a full 16 nether quartz chickens and they spit out three nether quartz like really quickly so this is gonna fill up really fast we're gonna have to pipe this somewhere but for now i'm pretty happy with at least having four stacks of quartz that's pretty useful so now i'm just making all of the different dyes so once you have your petals you do have to make this little guy a pestle and mortar pretty easy to make a bowl plank of wood and some sticks and the bowl is three planks Super easy to make, but you just take your mortar and pestle and you throw it in with your petals and you get dye. So then you can take your dye pretty easily into where your eggs are and just surround your egg with the dye. And right now we only need to take two of each color and then super easy, put them in here. These will guarantee you to get a chicken once they hatch. That was an instant hatch. What? And then we just turn it into an item. How did that... Am I me on top of it really how did you hatch so quickly good job orange egg but then we'll combine our little orange chickens once we have two of them into here right now we're working on sand and we're still working on that uh oh god we're done our soul sand hold on we haven't been focusing on this that much so 10 10 10s these guys are garbage we have a full chest of garbage chickens that we just don't need to keep 
but now that we have two 10 10 10 chickens in here they will breed up very quickly and we just shift right click our acceleration wand this will go very fast and all we need to do is get 16 of them and we can make another one of these little roosts and they will collect which is pretty awesome so that's kind of what i've been doing for the past ah uh, half an hour just making up all the different types of chickens that we need to run through here but this process is actually really quick um, your acceleration one, my mode is on fastest. It just says mode key equals to change speed, which not too hard. Click equal and it'll change the different speeds on uh, the piece. Oh God. But now it's just about making enough chickens. We have six right now. Once we have the 16, including the two we're using to breed them, we'll throw them in a roost and uh, we'll call it a day on that chicken. And then we just move on to the next chicken. So wheat, seeds, and eggs are a necessity for this point in life. It, we just have to. Now, I made a lot of different colors. I don't know which colors I'm going to need, but I'm making them anyway, because why not? Why not? So we have so many Batania flowers in our inventory. We're going to make tons and tons of, of the petals and then replant those, shear them, get tons of dye to be able to make all our different colors. But we do have our loot chest. And I want to show you one last thing on the base that I think you guys are really going to like. Yes! Oh, they're magical ones, though. How much does the magical do? Oh, my goodness. Speed upgrades. Oh, my goodness. This is so exciting. I don't know if magical ones will work on our machines, but I have to test this. Oh, my goodness. There's one more level above this that are not magical. They're called ultimate. I don't know if magical will work here. Uh, four? Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to have to go play around with this because we can actually hold 16 of these upgrades in here instead of four. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we got that. But even more awesome than that, if you can imagine it, I made a beautiful wall. Too many people put their names on my last episode and I made a wall. I made a fan wall out of sieves. This was not cheap, guys. This was a lot of iron. But we have our little anvil here and if we stare at each one at the top, it actually says skin, vrish, and that is your player skin. This one I thought was a little odd. I don't know if it's Pixlayer. I don't know if your skin normally looks like this. Or if it's just glitched. We got so many people. I'm so excited. But you guys are all here. So if you do want your little guy on the wall here. We're going to extend it over to this side. With the more, more people who are interested in having themselves on the wall. Which I think is so cool. And I just want to thank you guys all for watching. I have been having a great time. She, of course. I'm going to kill you. This is not going to happen this time, buddy. No. No. You're not going to kill me this time, buddy. No. No, I'm going to Rampage. We're killing all the Endermen! Not this time, buddy. I got down to gear. Come here, little Endermans. <laughs> That's it. No more Endermen. Come on! Just trying to do a pretty outro. Look at all the ender pearls everywhere. <laughs> My inventory's full and I can't pick up ender pearls. Um, let's throw that away and that. There we go. Let's grab the ender pearls. So, guys, I just was trying to say how thankful I am to all of you guys for watching. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you guys are as well. I think you are with the comments that you guys leave me. It's incredible. So keep up the love. I will keep up the love on my side as well. And I wanted to thank you guys all for all the love. So. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so that you see when I upload daily on the channel. Smash that like button. And as always, guys, see ya!